You know, uh, <laughs> I talked to uh, one of our, our, our crew members a lot about the show, Angry Hoosier TV. He tells me, uh, you know, you really couldn't work harder to make yourself more obscure, Captain Raz. If you ever go on YouTube and try and figure out what video game you're playing on your video game show, it doesn't say anything about the video game. It says Gaming Galleon, uh, you know, Machu Picchu, Peru. Gaming Galleon, Alaska. You know, Gaming Galleon, Rugby, England. Where's the video game? And then, on the off chance that it is somebody who, you know, may be from that location... And maybe somewhat interested that there's a video about where they're from, they click on it, and what do they see? For 40 freaking seconds! 40 seconds! At least! Who's gonna stay for that? I mean, talk about gatekeeping. You know? This, this this show is like, it's like a speakeasy. You have to know the password. You have to get to the bouncer. You have to know the right alley to go down. You need to know people, and you need to have a little endurance to get in and get a seat. So kudos to you if you figured it out. Welcome to the Gaming Galleon! Welcome once again to adventure, to excitement, to video games, and by God! Treasure. Welcome. And be proud that you're here, because not a lot of people have figured it out yet. What are we doing today? Well, we're not in some exotic location! No, actually we're local! If you don't know... The Gaming Galleon, when it's not out to some exciting locale, is docked in Indianapolis, Indiana. We're still in Indy. We basically sat down right in the middle of I-465. The southbound slash westbound part of a circular highway that goes around the city. One of the reasons the uh, Indianapolis is known as the Circle City. It has a giant circular highway that goes all the way around the metropolitan area. How in God's name have we managed to touch down in the middle of a highway during which is usually, because we shoot around 6 p.m., rush hour. Are we, are we landing on people's cars? Is the gridlock that bad? No. There's no cars around here. None, none at all. It's actually kind of quiet. Why? Well, because for the past uh, week, the whole damn area has been shut down for construction. A, ma a major, major, major highway... A stretch that I use every day to get to work in the wee hours of the morning. I'm talking like 4 a.m. here, folks. Shut down. For two weeks. Has this ever happened to you? It happens in Indy a lot. I can't tell you how many times I'm driving to work again at 4 in the morning. And some very important exit it is just shut down or entrance to the highway it's it's been rampant the past uh, few months they said we got to get it out of the way now before it's cold you guys will thank us in the winter but right now it's a royal pain in the poor bow if you know what i'm saying so we have touched down on 465 to try and give them a little help and get this done. Maybe make a little scratch on the side. Okay? We've got some booty here to go into.
don't worry. Just because the, the highway is shut down doesn't mean we're not going to find the booty. Okay? And, of course, at the end of the hour, we'll head on back here to look in the old bag that tells no tales. Okay? See what you guys have to say in there. That's when you guys get a moment to take uh, take the wheel, drive the show a little bit. Okay. What are we playing? Uh, we're 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 not. We're working. We're working today. We're working. We're gonna get this stupid highway up and running. Okay. There's only one more day of construction, and they're a little behind. So in order to open this baby up by Saturday, which is about a day or two away, we're going to get in there. We're going to give them a hand. How? We're going to be using our power shovel for the PlayStation 1. Have you ever... What's going on here? Power shovel. Uh, it looks like it was brought to us to the States by a claim. Claims brought a lot of great stuff over the years. Midway. Smash TV comes to mind. Uh, I don't know. A lot of stuff. Uh, but it was made by Tato. Now, I don't know if this was originally an arcade game. But knowing the Japanese, uh, I'm willing to bet it was. And I can't imagine what that arcade machine looks like. Do you get into the cab and have controls in front of you to operate a power shovel? I don't know. I'll tell you one thing, though. <laughs> they sure didn't break the bank when it came to U.S. localization. That's for sure. I think power shovel alone... It's a fine idea of how they just kind of barely got the translation right. Oh, and if you don't know what U.S. localization is, uh, that's the um, job that some people have to bring games that were created in Japanese in Japan. The localization team is in charge of translating the games that were originally made for a Japanese audience into an American or, you know, English-speaking country. Okay? So, a lot of times, the localization, at least back in the day especially, was a little bit off. Power shovel, no exception. What do you do in this? I mean, you're, you're a power shovel. So let's just get started, shall we? I mean, what else do I have to say? Right? Power shovel, PlayStation 1... Incidentally, a uh, little side story on how I found this game. You know, no, no, we'll be too busy for me to tell. It's We're going to be working hard here, okay? So I'm not going to have time for stories, so I'll just say this now. A shout-out. Uh, we, owe, we owe my uh, brother-in-law, Lawrence, this one, uh, Power Shovel. Not because he bought it, but because he and I happened to be at a family party uh, back in my hometown for a day, uh, you know, we're kissing babies, we're commiserating with family, whatever. That's when I'm like, can we get the hell out of here and just go to the local game store? He's like, absolutely. So we went there, we dug around, and I'd never seen never seen this before. I don't think I'll ever see it again. Power shovel for uh, somewhere around $6. Let's give it a shot. I have really, it's been sitting on the shelf for, I don't know, years until this week. When we had to pull it out of mothballs to help out uh, INDOT, otherwise known as the Indiana Department of Transportation. Let's get started! Allow me to play the harp of transition for you. As we get down and dirty in Power Shovel for the PlayStation 1. All right, everything. Oh, hey, where'd it go? Oh, there she is. Yeah, audio here. Okay, here we go. All right, right out of the box, you can, uh, we're talking about localization here. 
we got a few different modes. I usually I had to go right into gameplay, but this is a you just had to see this. We've got some modes here. We've got drive power shovel. Okay, that makes sense. We operate the power shovel. Get it! With the power shovel. What is that? Well, that's actually the store. Whatever money we earn, we can spend here in this mode. And then finally, watch the power shovel. Listen! Well, you would think this is like a tutorial or something. Uh, let's take a look at it real quick. And just see... You got your PC-30, your PC-100, your PC-1100. You're allowed to, quote-unquote, look at them. Let's look at the PC-100. See what we're working with today. Is it a tutorial? No. It's just... Okay. That's that's it. I believe you can fool around with it. Maybe. Maybe not. That's it. Just Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for letting me look at Power Shovel. All right, you guys ready to get work? Get to work. Drive Power Shovel, Arcade King. Now I've gone through some training, but I'm not a professional. We're gonna just do it. I can only imagine what versus. There's a versus mode for this. What's going on in versus mode? You bucking for the foreman job? Beginner mode. We're going into part timers. No kidding. All right, let's see how we can do this. There's a whole bunch of different jobs that we gotta do. Let's start out with. Uh, uh, I didn't even. I didn't even see what it said. Aim goal using caterpillar. Okay, here we go. Start work. All right. Well, we got. We gotta get to. to we gotta get to the. The work. Apparently, before we can work. If you're curious how the controls are here, oh boy, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Whew. It's the shoulder buttons. Control the treads. Oh, this is wonderful music. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Can I? Oh, that a boy. Ooh. So yeah, R1 is R1 and L1 are to go forward. R2 L. Oh! R2 L2. Oh come on. That's a lot of volts. Okay, let's go. I'm out of time. I already blew it. Go. I really picked the right job, huh? All right, that's okay. We got seven continues. Let's go again. Here we go. Down and dirty. All right, we got it this time. Get ready to work. Let's work. Start work. Power shovel. While listening to power guitar. All right, we'll take a left. We'll take a take a right this time. Don't give out of me. Don't give out of me! Oh my gosh. Keep going, baby. Power that shovel! Did you ever want to be a construction worker? I know that a lot of kids, you know, they, they get into uh, big man. I, I remember, I guess I, I, I remember having a Tonka phase. I mean, during my era, you know. There were, there were, Tonka trucks were serious business when I was a kid. Big metal behemoths, you know, dump trucks. You had the sit-down power shovel. You guys remember that? Where you could dig? Let's do some digging. Take us back to the playground days. All right, so that was, uh, let's see, we got a job here. Digging crew needed. All right, here. Let's do a little digging. Okay, here we go. All right, serious business. Got to make some money. Okay, here we go. Guys, the controls for this... I can't... Do we have to analyze it later? Oh, boy. Okay, I did dug nothing. I gotta dig... I gotta dig... Come on. 80 centimeters in the next 40 seconds. There we go, that's 22. 
There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with gas. 41. Up oh, halfway there. Come on, baby. There you go. There you go. Oh boy, that was nothing. Dig deep. Dig deep. Dig deep. I don't think we're going to make it. There we go. That's only 60! Oh, God. Why did I pick this one? I'm terrible at it. Oh, ah, ah. Uh, this game really is like work. Keep ambitious! For God's sakes, keep ambitious! Dig deeper and keep ambitious. Alright, here we go. Alright, no, no, no messing around. Okay, here we go. Yeah, now that's deep. Now I dug deeper. Now I dug deeper. Oh yeah! Come on, get up there! 35! They, they're making it easier on me, it's only 60 now. That's 44. Okay. Okay. Come on, make it a big one. Yeah! There we go. Oh, jeez. Woo! Man, oh man, the Shevitz. Our ambition kept. Not bad, keep trying. Alright, we made 47,000. I'm, I'm guessing that's yen. We couldn't have made forty thousand, forty-seven thousand dollars doing that. All right, let's do just one more here. How about? Uh... Oh, this this is terrible. Part time help wanted, building demolition. All right, here we go. We're basically tearing down a trailer park. I'm. This is probably. I I couldn't be worse at this. I have practiced and practiced and practiced. All right, here we go. Wreck it. I'm on a racket! Yeah! Look at the look at the chick! Look at the poster! Do you see it? I don't have time to show it to you! This is being torn down for lewd material! Oh, this one's got a poster too! Same poster guys! All, all these guys went to the same Spencer's gifts. Nine seconds. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, there's no way. There's a whole other stupid trailer. No! Oh. That's what I get for looking at posters. Keep am vicious. All right, here we go. Come on, come on. Juice up, juice up. Here we go, here we go. Oh my god, I'm not overreaching. Get out of here, yeah! Yeah, let's go, let's go! Die, lady! Ah! I am the power shoveler! I shovel well. I shovel very well. Actually, I don't. Oh, come on! Oh. There's no way we're gonna make it. There's no way, I totally wrecked it. Why did I pick this one? This was like getting getting ready for the show. I was like, this is the one not pick. Oh, jeez. All right, maybe they'll maybe they'll dumb it down to two sheds for me this time. Three continues to go. Five sheds. All right. Okay. All right. Let's see what we can do. Stay positive. Stay positive, stay ambitious. Oh my god. Oh my god! I'm going, I'm going! This is like tragic. This is. Come on! 
a lot of construction workers just yell while they're doing this? I would assume this is pretty cathartic work. I mean, I finally got one down. Oh. Unbelievable. I think we failed enough. Jeez. Oh, alright, stop yelling at me. I know I didn't kill you, Joel. What a nightmare. Uh, power Shovel, PlayStation 1. Is your job not frustrating enough? Why don't you go home, kick back, and, and play this? It'll frustrate you even more. And all I have to say, if you think you've seen what pa what Tato has in store for you with Power Shovel, uh, just wait till we return to it after the booty segment. You, you just don't know what you're getting into. Okay? We'll get back to that in a second. Alright, uh, the booty. You know, mainly, lately it's been a lot of lots. Just huge... Like, just a deluge of great stuff. Uh, this is just uh, some deals. I got one pretty sizable deal. Uh, but I think there's four deals in here. And uh, we've even got some modern gaming in here. How about that, huh? Alright, let's start... Uh, I don't even know where to start, to be honest. Let's start here. Three for ten. Three for ten on some DS games. A little high. Uh, but uh, these did come in some cases... And there's some harder to find games. This is really the one that kind of... Uh, the DS library, there's 10 million puzzle games out there. You're probably going to walk into a lot of pawn shops and just see a bunch of puzzle games and just leave them behind. Um, double check. And uh, know, your, know your library. Because sometimes there's going to be some stuff there that you wouldn't have wanted to leave behind. Uh, Flipper Critters, I think, is really what caught my eye on the shelf. I saw a flipper, and, uh, you know, I assumed it was a game about pinball and not a game about animals with birth defects. It is a pinball game. Uh, the fascinating thing about this pinball game is it, um, it's like four pinball games at once, all... It's like there's a there's the, the 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 gutter is in the middle of a circle. Okay, the circle's cut into four parts, and each four are four different pinball machines with no walls. So you can easily flip the ball into one of the other four orbiting pinball machines. Does that make sense? Maybe not. It's unlike any pinball machine I've seen. Well, I suppose. Uh, What's that pinball game for the Turbo Graphics that has like three or four pinball machines all next to one another? I'm sorry, it, the name escapes me. Anyway, um, Flipper Critters, never seen anything like it. Always a sucker for pinball games. I played it. Not the most solid game I played, but uh, the inventiveness of it certainly makes it worth the go. Uh, someone has been chewing on it. We probably will get us enough and uh, get another case. However, they were considered enough to leave us the manual. Flipper critters. Uh, as I was looking, I wanted to make a deal on this. He was asking five bucks a game. I wanted to pair it up to three for ten. So I was looking for some other stuff there, and instantly I saw uh, the spine for uh, Mr. Driller Drill Spirits. Um, an excellent game. Mr. Driller's had a little more attention lately because he was one of the 20 games on the PlayStation Mini. Uh, he's been on the PS1 and the Dreamcast. Uh, just a, you know, addictive puzzle game. You're a digger digging and digging and digging and digging and digging. Someone get you guys a little high. This is so stupid of me to even try this. But we're going to go for it. We're going to try and get you some some uh, autofocus. And I'm already failing. <laughs> okay. Now, 
Now I'm gonna have to watch to see if the autofocus is even running. Because I don't want to keep it on, because then it's just like... Constantly. Uh, finally, Soul Bubbles. Soul Bubbles, uh, why would we pick this up? Oh, there, there's some autofocus. Um, well, uh, I don't really know much about it. All I know is that collectors seek it out. I hear it's a pretty innovative game. From what I understand, uh, if you didn't know, the Nintendo DS has a built-in uh, microphone. And I believe you blow into the microphone to blow bubbles around this kind of platforming arena. And uh, it's a little harder to find uh, because, as you can tell, it says right here, only available at Toys R Us. So I haven't tried this one yet. Uh, definitely a collector find. And while it's not too valuable now, I have a feeling this may be a pretty, pretty sought-after game down the line. Um, so we got those for 3 for 10. Not a bad deal considering the pedigree of games and the fact that we have them complete. Uh, boo -boo, what do we got here? Just a pawn shop deal. Uh, a week after we did Rumble Rose, and I, I had been looking for it forever, Rumble Roses, and... Um, uh, we, we went out to uh, Montreal, Quebec, Canada to see some mud wrestling uh, thanks to these fine ladies. A week after we did that show, I think we found that copy for $2. We found this slightly suckier copy for uh, 50 cents. I think the only real problem with it is it's it's in a rental case. We could probably put it in an official PS2 case, and it'll be just as nice as our, our other one. Um, then they had some PlayStation 4 games. They were just like... We, no one's buying these for 15 anymore. It's time to go rock bottom with them. Uh, we found they were selling Shadow of Mordor Game of the Year Edition for $3. Which I thought was a pretty fair deal. Deal. Nice shape. I'm relatively sure the DLC is on the disc, but you never know. Don't quote me. And then for $2, a whopping $2, everybody's golf. Uh, you know... I know uh, I do I do have a friend who's a big fan of this game. I may end up playing with him online. So there you go, two bucks. Okay. Uh, here was um, a lunch break. Do I have time for this? Yeah. This is interesting because uh, the, these two these two finds were literally maybe like three three places away from each other, and they were quite similar to one another. So we walked into a pawn shop. They had some DS games behind the counter. There was like a little stack of loose ones. And then they and I said, hey, can I see those DS games? Well, the guy doesn't give me the stack. What he does is he proceeds to give me a stack that's right next to them, way in the back. I wasn't intending for him to give them to me because they were on the case. And I could see the, the names of all the games on... on the ones in the case, I could see the spines, they all look like crap, so I wasn't even interested in those. But I was interested in the pile, because I didn't know what was in it. I wanted to see what was in that pile, maybe something worth grabbing. But he doesn't re he, he instead grabs the cases, the pile of cased games, gives me those, and I'm like, uh, these aren't really what I'm too interested in. And on top was Snoopy's Grand Adventure. And I grab it, and that's when I hear... What's that? To the trained eye, ear, that would uh, tell you that there's more than one game in here. So as he's... I, so I... <laughs> this is a pirate's cunning right here. So I, I picked this up, hear the shake, I wait for him to, I say, no, not these, the loose ones. I wait for him to turn his back to get the loose ones, and that's when I look down, open her up, make a quick assessment of what's in there, and then without giving it back to him, say... Hey, how much is Snoopy? So that he can't hear. So that he can't hear that, right? 
He says, I, five bucks. Knowing what's in there, at least the glance that I got, I said, okay, we'll do five. Let's see what's inside. Uh, we do have Snoopy. Snoopy was uh, was in there. Whether or not this came with a manual is beyond me. I got a complete copy of Snoopy. The other games in here, Pokemon Diamond version. Oops. Okay. No autofocus. Mario Party 7. There we go. Phineas and Ferb in the two dimension. 2D dimension. And finally, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Shadow Wars for the uh, 3DS. Kind of interested to see how this uh, is on the, uh, the 3DS. Not really sure how that'll work out. Five games, five dollars, dollar game. I think we did okay. There. Cunning and all. I'll pay for it when I'm in hell. Uh, that just down the street, two doors down, is a Goodwill. We went in the Goodwill. We're looking around. You're not gonna, you know, generally do. We don't find anything. We've got. We make a hit now and then because we get there pretty early, uh, like 9 a.m. because it's our lunch break. And we happen to find FIFA 08. I love the the reaction on this guy's face. Is he getting a, a cleaning? Anyway, why would we get this? Well, it's really heavy. It's really heavy. What does that tell us? I don't know. I couldn't tell. Because this thing, they may as well have had drywalled it. They put tape everywhere they usually don't do that usually they'll just let the thieves rip it off but i guess they had to tape it together because there was a lot in there so i finally peeled off enough just to open it up and confirm oh yeah there's more than one game in there i have no idea what they are but i'm going to take a shot uh they charged us three dollars i don't think it's on here anymore it was three dollars for this guy Let's open her up and see what we got. Oh! You see this? Here, let me open it for you. Bah! Look at that. Spat. It's like sardines in here, all right? PlayStation 3. Mid Rockstar's Midnight Club. Los Angeles. Complete edition. Call of Duty Ghosts. Modern Warfare 2. Call of Duty Modern War Call of Duty 4. Modern Warfare. Okay. Black Ops. And finally FIFA. How many games is that? One. That's it, right? Yeah. One, two, three. Wow, oh, seven. Six games. Six games for three dollars fifty cents a game. Incredibly common games, but none of them. Uh, I mean, with the exception of FIFA. Hey, look. Let's be honest. We can up and down. You know, we can we can rag on the common games. The AAA titles, all we want. At the end of the day, they're they're pretty fun games. Call of Duty Black Ops alone has a lot of content on it, so not a bad little deal for three bucks. How are we on time? Are we gonna do this? I feel like I'm not I'm not wowing you guys enough if I don't do this last deal. Let's see. We got. Yeah, let's do it. Let's blow our loads, huh? I'll, let's just get, yeah, let's go for it. Okay, so great deal here. Uh, we walked in. Uh, behind glass, they had a whole bunch of handheld games. 
uh, DS games and Game Boy Advance games. I did a once over, and uh, I said it looked like it was somewhere around fifteen games or so, um, give or take, maybe somewhere between fifteen and twenty games. And uh, I said, uh, "What can you do on all of them?" And I said to him, "I think the last time I was here." You had about 10 games, and you did 20 for me? I'm like, can you do that again? He's like, well, there's more of them, so I, I got to do 30. And I said, okay. All right, let's do 30. So let's take a look. See what we got. We'll start with the, you want to start with the DS games? Here we go again with the small, the small cartridges. Sonic Rush. I don't see this one often. Uh, Mushroom Man Rise of Fungi. Some sort of uh, 2D platformer. The Wii game gets uh, gets some props from some uh, some collectors out there. I don't really know how that one stacks up. Uh, this one really interested me, uh, especially after I researched it. It's uh, Battle of Giants Dragons. Battle of Giants Dragons. I don't know if we're going to be able to get a... It's just words anyway. These DS cards couldn't be more boring to look at. Uh, but apparently this is a series. I'm not getting it. This is a series of games. The Battle of Giants series. There is uh, Mutant Insects. Which is Battle of Giants, Mutant Insects. And then there's Battle of Giants, Dragons. And then there's Battle of Giant uh, uh, Dinosaurs. We've got the Dragons one. I can't. It just doesn't want to say hello. But basically, apparently, this is uh, a multi multiplayer. You're just going around a countryside as a dragon. You can level him up, customize him how you want him to be, what he breathes, what's on his back and his tail, that stuff. And then you fight other dragons. There's multiplayer in this. I know my sister's going to be very excited. We play a lot of multiplayer DS whenever we're on the road. So to have a game where we can fight as dragons... I think she's going to be into that. And then apparently uh, the game gets a little tongue-in-cheek and that you're not just going around exploring, fighting other dragons. Eventually you'll find more interesting things to fight, like, say, school buses or uh, just weird things like that, just off-the-wall things. Wouldn't mind trying that one. Uh, Army Men. Soldiers of Misfortune. It's green. It's got words. I'm sorry if we sat here and did the... We just got to keep moving. This is two games in one. You got ATV something and Monster Trucks Mayhem. Looks like it's made by DSi. I need like a magnifying glass to read these things. Uh, Spyro Shadow Legacy. I think that's like a kind of an RPG, Spyro. Oh, sure. Put it down as soon as it zooms in. As soon as it focuses. Uh, Nintendogs, look. Uh, do I care about Nintendogs? Not until I saw that this was the Dachshund edition. Dachshund and Friends. Uh, wow, Wonder of Wonders. We have all three of the Nintendogs games now. There's Dalmatians, the Chihuahuas, and then the Dachshund. And I mean... If I'm going to pick one, I'll pick the Dachshund. I'm not going to kick the Dachshund out of bed, if you know what I mean. Uh, the Airbender, Last Airbender. Many of these games out here. This one was the one based off the movie. Uh, people found the movie to be a travesty. I don't know. I didn't know it. I loved it. Saw it on my birthday. Went there alone. Loved it. Lego Batman. The video game. Here's a Game Boy Advance game. Desert Strike Advance. That's pretty cool. SNES, you know, SNES fans, Sega Genesis fans, EA games, Desert Strike Advance. That's pretty cool. Didn't know that was out there. Uh, Rabbids Go Home. Apparently you're uh, like some sort of rabbit gathering things to make 
a pile of trash so large that it reaches the moon. Oh, and here's an actual Game Boy game. How about that? Uh, I believe the only Game Boy game in there, Odd World Adventures. Another one of these little things. I think these are all Game Boy Advance games. You got Nickelodeon uh, Battle for Volcano Island. Uh, I guess you play as SpongeBob. Other various Nintendo Nickelodeon guys. Okay. Ah! Uh -huh. Bismuth has this. I've always wanted it. It's very cheap. I've just never found it out in the wild until now. Uh, Star Wars Flight of the Falcon. It's basically uh, just a, a behind the Millennium Falcon, uh, you know, space combat game. Flight of the Falcon. Pretty excited to have that one. A DS Rumble Pack. How about that, huh? This was uh, most notably packed in with uh, Metroid Pinball, a launch game for the DS. Very good pinball game. Uh, we didn't have the uh, the Rumble Pack, so we do have the case. We do have Metroid Pinball in the case. We didn't have this, so we'll pop it in there, make our complete copy a little more complete. Earthworm Jim on uh, the, the, the Game Boy Advance. Of all things. How about that? Earthworm Gen. And then finally, the classic NES series version of The Legend of Zelda. And uh, for dramatic purposes, I did not leave this for last. It just happened to be in there. I saw this one pretty much in, in under glass, and I thought, well, we got to get the lot no matter what. Um, so again, how many games were here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So seventeen games. He was asking for thirty. We're gonna get it. We're going to the register. On the way there, there's some PS4 games behind the counter. I said, uh, he's like, you want any of these? I'm like. What's that one? He's like, uh, I'm like, what can you do on that? He's like, eh, five bucks. I said, okay. For five dollars, uh, we got, I, really weird. This was just in a pile of other common PS4 games. This was not an interesting lot of PS4 games at all, but here was one I just didn't recognize. Uh, it was called Red Out. Apparently, it looks to me like some sort of F-Zero wipeout kind of game. But you'll notice it's the Lightspeed Edition. I did a little research, and this edition never made it to America. This is a PAL release. What is it doing in a pawn shop in Indianapolis? Uh, and additionally, if that wasn't weird enough, this is sealed. Sealed copy. So we picked it up for five. Any game I don't recognize for five is usually a pretty safe bet I'm going to get it for PS4 if we don't have it. So that came out to 18 games. 30 for the, the, the carts. Five for this. He's looking at $35. Not the best deal in the world. But we're not going to walk away from it. I want to show it to you guys. We're trying to ring up. We're trying to ring up. We're trying to ring up. And that's when he says, yeah, every every branch or every uh, location in the city, the network's down. I, I'm just, I'm waiting, trying to get, trying to make this transaction, dude. And I'm like, oh, now this is an important tip. In this day and age, you, most people just are running with plastic. Uh, it's always a good idea to have a little cash on you. I usually don't follow that rule, but for whatever reason, I happen to have a little cash on me. And so I went for it because this has happened before. Sometimes a dealer will get will will be even nicer, give you an even better price if you give him straight cash. So it's always better to have it kind of as like a, a backup. 
and thank God we did. So I said to him, we were we were looking at a thirty-five dollar price tag. I said we'd been sitting there waiting for minutes. He tells you know reveals this whole thing that the network's down, and I said, geez, I sure wish I had more on me. All I have is twenty dollars in cash, and he says I'm not going to make you wait until our systems get back up. Let's just do it for twenty. So we got all these games, 18 games, a PS4 game, a bunch of hard to, I mean, I would, would not rare, but certainly we don't see things like Earthworm Jim in the Game Boy Advance. And then some fascinating, interesting DS titles, uh, the Docks and, and, and Nintendogs and uh, the uh, Battle of uh, Giants, Dragons, both exciting titles in my opinion. Um, we got all those 18 games for 20 bucks. Now I feel like I've done what I'm supposed to do for you guys. Let's get back to Power Shovel. Alright, let's do a Power Shovel on the PS1. You want to see this one more time? Power Shovel. Le Power Shovel. Jay's like, that's not French. Alright. Here we go. Uh, look, oh, top of the board. Raz. I have played this. How much time we got? 10 minutes? 15 minutes? 15 minutes. All right, here we go. Hey, Gesundheit. All right, so we've been, we've really failed at, at actual construction, okay? But the nice thing about Tato, they know they're making a video game. We're here to have fun. So there are other things to do with your power shovel. Let me show you. Just do it. Oh no, I didn't mean to go beginner. No, no, we're going, we're going into part timer. We got, we got work to do. All right, here we go. So, store clerk needed. Okay, let's go work in the store. Oh man, if I don't get this right, this is going to be really embarrassing. Here we go. All right, buy exact amount. The target is eighty-two cents. So let's see. Uh, uh, yeah, that, that's right, right? 75 cents plus 7 cents. That's 82. Clock it in. Boom. 166. Let's see. You got uh, 90, uh, 100. Oh, boy. We're, we're going to need a 1. We're going to need a 5. 60 more, right? Is there a 10? Here's a 50. Can I get a 10? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Hey, give me that 10. Give me that 10. Did I already take 10? Oh, boy. Am I getting this wrong? That one's already been used. Reset. Okay, here we go. 166. Let's see. 75. Uh, 25. I'm running out of time. Oh, my God. I can't even add correct? That's embarrassing. Can we go again? Come on. Look, I worked in a supermarket when I was 18. I didn't do clerk. They didn't They didn't, they didn't trust me to add up the, the groceries, though. Go bag them and tag them. All right. 100. 15. Is there a 20? There's no 20. Oh, my God. I'm terrible at this. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, 90, 10, uh, uh, 25 is, I already did 10, right? Okay, 4, 1, 5. I'll take all those, please. Thank you. All right, 86, uh... Uh, let's see, uh, let's see, um, five, six, was that 11? Okay, one, uh, give me the, the, I'm not, just noticing there's items up there that we're buying. Woo, we just bought the Bubble Bobble doll. I almost want to play that one again just to see the stuff we're buying. Whew. 
All right. Not so good. You should change jobs. Oh, really? Fine. Fine. I know where I'm not wanted. There's other there's other fish to fry, sir. Sir! Yeah. I'm yelling at emo at emoji. All right, let's try this one. Here we go. How about uh how about save help us save turtles? Let's save some turtles, shall we? Come on. Let's work on our karma from that uh, bait and switch we did with the 3DS game. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we got a turtle. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, golden turtle. Oh, I've never caught I've never caught a golden turtle. Come here. Woo! Catching a golden turtle, that's like uh, scoring a date with a playmate. Hey, come here! Oh, 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 I think we got him. No. Oh, there's a golden one! Oh, they're fast. They're like gazelles. Oh, I had him. I'm getting greedy looking for that golden one. There we go. All right, there we go. We got it. Yeah, we're complete! That's what I'm talking about. Booyah! All right, we're decent. How? What did we do? Okay. Uh, how we do? Are we? Not bad. Keep trying. Okay. Okay. Great. Not bad. All right, but let's let's get let's check this one out. Cook wanted. C Curry chef. Looking to start immediately. Cook curry is ordered. Okay, there's... Oh, okay, we got an order coming in for hot... Hot curry. Okay. Look at me. I'm a master at this. As long as I don't have to do anything practical with the power shovel. Hot. Okay. A little hot curry for you. Oh, yeah. There we go. Don't, don't hit the rice now. Okay. It's, uh, okay, we're doing a family of five here, apparently. Hottest? Probably the, the curry I would get. I love that it's just, it looks blood red. It looks like they just, uh, just pureed a deer or something. All right, here we go. Eight seconds. Get that out to the floor! Bon appetit! Yeah, there we go. Booyah. That's good on us. Okay. All right. So, is it possible to get out of this? I don't know that they're... Let's see. Can I... I kind of want to quit. I don't, I don't know that I can. Maybe if we go into a game. What's this one? I don't even know what this one is. What's this... Oh, this is this stupid trail. All right, get get us out of this. We're gonna we're gonna wrap up to show you what you could do with your hard-earned money in Power Shovel, the amazing rewards that you can be unlocked with the money that you earn in Power Shovel. And then we're gonna say goodbye to Power Shovel again. We have to go to get it, not the shop. Get it with the Power Shovel. We've got some uh, some new voices here, the foreman, new foreman to yell at you, some new partners, uh, more background music. I bought some more continues. There's apparently some sort of movie for five million. We can't afford that, but what we can afford is one of these fascinating galleries. Okay, I don't know what's in this gallery. In fact, let's let's just go. Let's get crazy. Let's go for number five and see what's in here. Photo number five sold. Get out of here. No, I don't need... I'm not going to waste our time. What, are you going to make me do this? Again, with the... Trend, with the we're, we're using the memory card. Score adjustment. Keep data for adjustment. Got it. Thank you for your business. All right, so now we go down to... I think... Um, should be watch the power shovel. Yeah. And which one will we buy? We bought photo five. Well, let's treat ourselves. What do you get for your hard-earned money and power shovel when you buy the photos? Well, it's a gallery of... <laughs> it's a gallery of giant 
uh, construction vehicles. There you go. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's amazing they don't charge for this. How is this not DLC? Amazing. Okay, that's it. Oh, we got two more. Look at the caboose on that guy. All right, and then number 10. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Power Shovel. It's an exciting... Ah! Let's drop my damn harp here. There you go. Power Shovel. Okay. So that's it. Power Shovel. I mean, what's it going to cost you these days? Uh, if you can find it. Uh, it's, yeah, it's $20 range. $20, $30, depending on the condition. Yeah. What, what? I certainly didn't expect to be serving curry. When I, I should have known. Tato, Tato will do stuff like that to you. Great game. And that's just the part-timer mode. I haven't, I'm not good enough to get to professional mode yet. I can only imagine what kind of uh, jobs that, that open up once you get up to the higher levels. Um, very weird game. Controls like nothing I've ever seen before. Uh, just the kind of stuff we like to see on the game Galleon. Magnificent. Okay. Let's go over here. I think there's something in here. Oh yeah, we got a letter. Wonder of wonders, there's a letter. And it comes from Guess again, the most eloquent pirate on the Silicon Seas, our good friend all the way out in Normandy, France, the Janer. Let's see what he has to say this week. Dear Captain Raz, recently I stumbled on a game for the Sega Genesis that intrigued me. It appears to be some manner of fantasy adventure named King's Bounty. Although a port... It looks to offer its own adaption and a unique identity even today. Can you confirm or deny its glory? Am I better just sticking off with the famous Shining Force series? And my ex, the J Nerd. Thank you, Jay. Uh, King's Bounty. Uh, we happen to have a copy here in the bag. King's Bounty. A Conqueror's Quest. Uh, apparently ours has some chew marks on it. There you go. Somebody got down and dirty with the bounty. Uh, you'll notice this is an EA title. Um, should you not play it? Oh, um, no, no, absolutely you should play it. Does that mean I have uh, lots of experience with it? Uh, no, that's not the case at all. Uh, I have little to no experience. With, uh, I'm going to get the autofocus off here before I forget. There we go. Uh, little to no experience with King's Bounty. However, that should not stop you from trying it. From what I've seen, it looks like some sort of tactical RPG. Those are always fun. Uh, Shining Force probably looks better. In fact, I would venture to say it definitely does. But... There is a pedigree of games out there that EA put out during the Sega Genesis era. If you find one, if you find it loose or complete, you know, and they're not asking retail, <laughs> by all means, grab it. This is the best one we have, uh, and it's an example of uh, how much um, thought and love they put into these EA back in the day. Might and Magic... Gates to another world. Um, it's just, it's heavy. The The manual itself, uh, all of the manuals for these EA RPGs, uh, they were like, look at the size of that thing. You know? It's like a TV guide. Do, 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 does TV guide still exist? Yeah, you can download it. Uh, yeah, no, uh, but the, the, the games are massive, because most of them are PC ports, as you mentioned. Uh, so yeah, no, I would totally uh, give it a go. Everything I've heard is positive. 
but I can't say for certain. You know, I haven't played it. I wouldn't kick it out of bed, though. And uh, I think I found mine. Uh, it was a funny story. It was... Uh, I remember seeing a complete copy of it for 15 the first time I'd ever seen it. But this was really early, maybe like six years ago. Um, Should have grabbed it then, but I didn't. However, I did find this copy. It was a mall store. The guy was an independent uh, 20-something kind of guy. He opens the store, and when he wasn't there, I think he had two stores. He had a shoe store and a game store. And whenever he was at the shoe store, his mom was running the game store. And that's just when I happened to show up was whenever mom was on duty. So at the time, uh, they were selling this for uh, five, I think. We got it for five. So, there you go. But probably only because it was mom. Anyway, um, that's it. Yeah, I would totally recommend it. Jay, thank you for the letter. If you have any questions or comments you'd like stuffed in the old mailbag, please whisper it. And I can't stress this enough. Please whisper something to the Gaming Galleon channel so we can put it on paper and pop it in the bag for you, old snail mail style, and you can become a part of Gaming Galleon history. Okay, guys, that's it uh, for uh, our trip, our park job on uh, I-465 southbound slash westbound. Here's hoping your next commute to wherever you need to be is a smooth one. Until I see you next time, may the wind be always at your back. I mean, all the prices be at 50% off. Farewell and adieu to ye fair Spanish maidens. Farewell and adieu ye ladies of Spain. For we received orders for to keep ambitious and lo nevermore shall we see ye all again. Keep your powder dry, mate.